everybody, today I'm going to be doing a little video about book design, how I got into book design and then a little bit of a Q&A that I did on Twitter. So I'm just going to get straight into it with a few questions that were actually asked on YouTube. How did you get into the design industry? So that seems like a pretty good place to start. So in the summer before I graduated, I did an internship at a little design agency that I got because someone who I knew, who they knew, who they knew, had seen my design on the Penguin Design Award website. So she gave me a ring and very, very kindly offered me an internship. And then the year after that, she decided that she needed another member of staff. So she offered me a job. It was all incredibly lucky. I was very, very, very grateful to get that job. And it was a lovely first job. I could not have asked for anything more. I didn't go anywhere near books in that first job. There was a lot of um, kind of product design and packaging design and all kinds of things. And it was very, very valuable eight months that I was there. So the next question was actually, how did you get your job? So I'm a junior book designer at Simon & Schuster at the moment in the adult department. So I design fiction and non-fiction books for adults. So I got that job when I was made redundant from that first job, which is very sad. So straight away I put a portfolio together and the clouds opened up and the sun shone down and Simon & Schuster said that they were looking for a junior designer. I saw it on the Jobs in Books Twitter page, which I will link down below, because that is a fabulous Twitter that you need to follow if you want to work in publishing. So I applied for that job at Simon & Schuster and as luck would have it, I got an interview and then I had two more interviews and then I got the job. Did you go to a four year school? So it was just a three year course. I did it at Winchester School of Art, which is kind of the art campus at University of Southampton, which is a really good university. Not so amazing for like arty subjects, but it was pretty good. And Southampton is a really fun city. So I'm very, very glad I went there. The course itself is called Graphic Arts. So in that course, you tried graphic design, illustration, photography, and motion graphics. You tried all of them and then picked which pathway you wanted to choose and which you wanted to go down. The first year I actually did graphic design and I hated it. And funnily enough, I nearly failed. So I actually switched to the illustration pathway after writing a begging email to my tutor um, and thankfully they let me switch. <laughs> Any tips on portfolio prep when applying for internships? I have some tips. I think my biggest tip when putting together a portfolio for any kind of design job that you're applying for is just to keep it as short as possible. It's best to just show your very best work, give them a good impression quickly, and I think that way you'll be more memorable. Pick your very, very best work, even if it's not your most recent work, just pick the things that you think is best and what best represents you and what you can do and what you want to do. That is definitely what you need to put in your portfolio. Make your portfolio and your cover letter and your CV all consistent design wise, make sure that they all share the same identity and they are all very you and they fit together beautifully as a set, you will seriously get credit for it. Also, just another little tip, don't just apply for internships. If you see any junior design jobs going, you have nothing to lose in applying for them. Just send them your very best work. You might get a bit of feedback, you might get an interview or you might not. You just don't know. There's literally nothing to lose. This obviously is if you're like looking for a job and not in the middle of uni. Did you have to take core classes? I'm not really sure what this means. We weren't really taught anything in uni. We didn't have any kind of classes where they taught us things. We just had tutorials and lectures. So we were given a brief, a design brief to do by our tutors and we had tutorials once a week and met with our tutors to talk about what we were doing. And that was pretty much it. And we also had lectures uh, which we then wrote an essay out of that module. So things like Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign, which are the three things that you need to know. We all learn ourselves or we've learned in our jobs in the last few years after graduating. I want a list of every book with a cover designed by you that's currently available. Oh, I love you, Shah. I'll put up a few of my favourites. One of them being Everything I Don't Remember by Eunice Hassan Kamiri, which is Probably the cover that I'm most proud of so far. I just really, really like it. Uh, Bedtime Stories for Grown Ups by Ben Holden is like a poetry and short story anthology. Uh, the Liberation by Kate Vernival, which looks like this. This isn't actually out yet, but it involved a lot more photoshopping than you would think, but I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks really nice. Another one I just showed in a haul, but it's The War on Women by Sue Lloyd Roberts, which I'm really happy with. I think it's just pretty striking and it goes with the title very well. I hope that you enjoyed this little book design Q&A thingy uh, and got something out of it. If you have any more questions or if you just ever need any help with anything, give me a tweet, 
it's totally fine. I'm always happy to help people who are struggling with like design, whether it's applying for jobs or uni or whatever. I've been there. So I want to help you. It's fine. And if you're doing a design degree right now and you're struggling, I'm just going to give you a hug because I feel like you need it. It's going to be okay. Thank you very much for watching. I very much appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.